62% of territory for the San Diego Legion. And I credited a lot of that to their number 10, Josh Henderson, mm -hmm. who has just put them in the right areas of the field to play rugby tonight. All right, so those are the particulars after the opening 40 minutes of play. If you're if you're San Diego, you don't change anything, or do you change or tweak anything? No, just keep going with it. Just keep playing fast. Just keep painting those corners. Play in the other end of the field. Force Utah to have to play that long game. And if you're Utah, what has to happen for them to, to start getting some momentum here? Like I said earlier on in the, in the first half, they have to get over top of the ball. They have to slow down this San Diego attack. They have to take the energy out of this entire atmosphere at Snapdragon Stadium, slow the game down, play that physical game that San Diego doesn't necessarily want to play, and then rely on that man right there, Hodgson, to put them upfield with his foot. The conductor hasn't done a whole lot of conducting thus far. San Diego will kick it away to Utah to begin the second half. Three tries in that opening half from San Diego. One try coming from Mano for Utah. Second half underway. Good to have you with us wherever you're watching tonight on FS2. Utah in the white and red. That's a lot of red on the pitch, but Utah with the white and red. San Diego in the dark, the black and red. Opener for both these clubs. That was pulled out of there, taken away by Bailey Wilson there as he ripped it right out of the hands of Henderson. Playing a knock-on advantage here for Utah as well. Clay. Hodgson putting it into the hands there. One of their newcomers, that's number 15, Caleb Mockany. Mockany, and the ball came over to San Diego. Mockany got knocked down at the 22, but we were, as you said, playing an advantage. Had the advantage, but not Mockany ran into the open space there, and you heard our referee Luke Rogan say, advantage gained. Mockany gets into space, and then just gets absolutely leveled. So let's have a look here. So good play this time. Down that little short side. Fantastic individual effort and great footwork by Mockany. Looks to his outside and then absolutely dropped by has to be Nate Osberger on that hit because that looks like a token Nate Osberger hit. Lift and drive. Talked about him. Not the biggest human on the field, but man, he plays way above his weight. There's Mockany, the native of New Zealand. <laughs> There's a line out for Utah. Not handled on a throw in, but they come down with it. Paul oh, Mullen. Backwards. Backwards, no, backwards. Hodgson gets it into the hands there. A big number five, Yohila. Stay here. Yo, Gila, head down again, and he is driven back. What a hit by Malolo. That is a lot of boy he just took down there. What a hit. Wow. San Diego oh. just stepping up on defense here. Are they? Utah trying to plow forward again. Their set piece failing and letting them down off that line out. Oh. Bang. That is, that is a big human to try to hit. And what a job there that time by Malolo. Taking notes, I think, from his winger, Augsburger, who set the tone wow. just a few plays earlier with this hit. Here it is. So here's Augsburger. Oh. Drive in to contact, pick and lift. Takes him to ground safely, but San Diego upping it up, upping it a notch on defense here in this second half so far. No pads in this sport always amazes me. Down to Dallin Stanford, who's delivered a few of those hits in his career. Dallin? Yeah, certainly have indeed. I spoke to the coaches, just so you guys know, the Utah coach, Sean Davies, assistant coach, said they need a fire shot, which you saw McInerney do there early on. But defensively, they need to exert the pressure, come off their line a bit more, and they will get possession here. But then on the other side, Danny Lee said, well, they just need to keep the ball. They don't need to force anything. If they can just hold strong for this next 20-minute patch, they'll be good for the rest of this game. Excellent. Thanks, Dallin. Kick this into touch, set up, set piece up coming here on this near touch line with the line up. This will be a big one for the Warriors as well. They've had inconsistent <laughs> results off these line outs. They'll need to take this one down if they want to get that shot going. Like uh, Coach Sean Davies right. said, this is your opportunity to do it. You're, mar you're 
banging on the door here inside the 22. Probably got something up your sleeve as far as the set piece move goes, but haven't quite yet been able to launch it. Here we go. Not executed very well here. They pop it up, kick it through over the top there, but the Legion are there to get it. Now they're going to try to work. Mikey Teo trying to strip that ball out of there. Teo lays it to the back. Two Warriors there waiting. Tackle made. Did they come away with it? No. It's a penalty call on Utah. Vandenberg that time getting called for not rolling away in the contact situation. And again, though, Utah throwing away an opportunity. Right. You know, you're trying to claw your way back into this game. You're down 20 to 5. You've got to launch a set piece attack. And they have not yet been able to do that. We are all Which must be frustrating, that guy right there, Connor McLeod. Yeah. He and Joel Hodgson outside of him as your playmakers at 9 and 10. Must just be so frustrated right now with how these lineouts have been going. Yep. And as you've talked about and we talked about with their coach, these two guys really brought in to energize and kind of get this offense more engaged. Nanu. Boots it with a right well, back into the hands of the Warriors of Utah. Shot, shot. See the possession number, San Diego, 56 to 44 at this point. McLeod gets it free. Bion, he's held that Bion. Some uncertainty there on that little short range touch there. And here's the big man, Yohila, again. A mountain of a man to tackle, and they get him down. McLeod gets it free. Hodgson, second thought, goes on the second pass there that he saw, right, felt seven. better about it. Right. Utah just going side to side right now. This is about the sixth phase they've played, left to right, across in their own end. They've got to settle here and just launch it downfield, and you can see Hodgson trying to get that done now. And Sylvia there came in, gave a shove. Get it into the hands there of Jamie Lane. Just kind of lean forward. Use it now! McLeod. You said it. They got to get some space here. And there's the kick up from McLeod up into the air. Played, caught, taken on the hit there was Henderson, but he maintained the possession. Legion sent it right back to Utah. They're going to do the same here as Mockety sends it back down the pitch. Now the Legion. And that kick finds touch. Wow, what a kick that time by Nanu. Found space on the opposite side of the field. Perfectly dribbles that one across and earns his team not just a nice kick but a 50-22 so it'll be San Diego ball that was class 40 years young and he's still doing it like he's 20 there it is look at that gets his hips to the sideline doesn't need to make it look pretty nothing fancy about that just literally pointed his hips got himself set dribbled the ball aimed it into the corner Really, really well done by a world-class player. Put his team in prime scoring position now to go for this bonus point. They got three tries on the board. Yep. If they could put a fourth one up and get Snapdragon Stadium on their feet, this would be big. Yep. Inside of the 22, here come the Legion. No two! got to it. Ball there. Anderson puts it into the hands there of Marcel Brocky. Grant runs into a couple of defenders. Good work out of Utah. But it's going to be a penalty call against the Warriors. So there's the breakdown. Little dish back inside. Lots of Utah players there. One, two, three, four. They get strong over top of the ball. That's Lance Williams digging at it, but 
He had two of his teammates lying right over top of it, and Luke Rogan not happy about that. They're going to go to the tee here, and they're going to bring on Henderson here to take the points here. You agree with this? No, no go for the, the corner. Try. No, go for the corner. You got three. You got three tries on the board. You want to get that bonus yeah. point. You've had Utah backpedaling this you entire game so far. You're so close. Put it in the corner and go for that bonus point. All right. But three points is three points. Henderson is true with the boot, and it's 23 to five, San Diego now. Yeah, just keep the scoreboard ticking over for the Legion. But you can imagine that 10,000 people in that stadium were sitting on the edge of their seat waiting for them to go to the corner, as were mm -hmm. you and I here yep. as well. But call it like it is, three points on the board. Like we said, it's three points on the board. So just keep it ticking. The stadium built right next to the old San Diego Stadium, which many would remember as Jack Murphy Stadium, the Murph as they called it. It was later called... Qualcomm Stadium, the Chargers and Padres both played there for years. Back to the 60s now, a gem, the premier rugby venue in this country now here in the United States. Great ball there. This could be trouble for Utah. San Diego, huge pickup here inside of Utah territory as they broke through there. Outside they go, far touch. This is Osberger. Osberger. Taken down, spun to the back by Judd. No, no, five! No, no. Rogan instructing scrum half for the Legion there, Judd. Bad ball, back to play it, get on at his tail. That's the way that Utah needs to slow the ball down, just like they did, give their defense time to set up, put pressure on, close the door on the outside, force those mistakes from San Diego. That's the Utah defense that they need to have all the rest of this game. Williams first to the ball carrier, but had to get some help to get the ball carrier down. Stepping up here is Utah. Penalty call on San Diego here. So Utah comes up with the stop they needed. Well done, Utah, to turn defense yep. into attack that time. And let's take a look at this, though. San Diego inside their own half. This is such a difficult play to execute oh. right at the line with that little tip. Look at this. Number five right there for San Diego. Goes in, commits two defenders. Little dish ball right at the line. I mean, that is that takes so much talent, so much skill, and so much practice. When you're the forwards, you go to forward sessions at rugby practice, they'll work on that relentlessly. It's such a well-timed and well-executed play, but it's so hard to do. Really, really well done that time by Isaac Ross at the line to feed Malolo and then bust out a 50, 60 meter run upfield. So after the kick here, this is where Utah will go to work. Have to come down with this line out, though. Yep. It's been a problem. They go short here. They went to Oli Khalifi there. Checked in. I like that option, too. They haven't had much success in the air going to any of their pods. Just True. throw it short, get the ball in. Yep. Make the sure, smart, efficient play. San Diego, three around the ball. McLeod gets it free into the hands there of Yohila. McLeod, nice little dummy there. He's a couple of meters from the try line. Utah trying to advantage that time in from the side. But they won't need it. They won't need it. It's taken in and put down by Paul Lasique. He puts it away. His first try of the season. And Utah makes it a 23 to 10 game now with a kick coming. Or six because he went between the posts, yep. Right between, right the, between posts. the posts, yep. automatic seven for them. But I'll tell you what, that was set up by their number nine, Connor McLeod, good heads up play. Here's yep. that little snipe from him. Look at that dummy straight through that gap. Just caught on the backside that time by Ben Grant, but quick recycle ball. Oh, there's that penalty, slowing that ball down. And then there's the CK just on his way over the goal line. San Diego there diving in over top of the ruck. That creates that seam along the ruck there. Not only do they give away the penalty, but by diving in on that edge, took away that right fringe defense from that San Diego side. Lasique notices that, 
just mountain climbs his way literally over the try line for seven points. We talked to Greg Cooper about him the other day, and he said his value to the team, you can't measure it. He leads our leadership group with other guys, and he said every now and then he gets text messages from Lasique about, hey, coach, let's try this, let's do this. What do you think of this? So it's like having, with his experience, a, really another coach out there on the pitch. Big try for them, 23 to 12. After that seven pointer, Teo the kick. Warriors have it back here. Two teams that have put up more tries than anyone in league history in the previous five seasons. Entering this one, San Diego had the lead by two. 41 to 239. Here in the 55th minute now, it's 23 to 12 Legion. But they're on the defense. Defense again, nearly mishandled, but gathered in. Nice hands, good mitts by Bailey Wilson. There, their captain. Cruze. Total mess down there, and Utah hangs <laughs> on to it. They do. No, you Offering the back. Use it now. You heard Rogan tell them, use the advantage. Sent skyward by Connor McLeod. Up in the air and big collision there. Right out to 10 to that player or players. Cruz is one of them there. 14 slow to get up. Looks like everyone's all right. That amazes me in this sport. Every time we do a match, there's hits like that. And these guys just spring right back up. I'll tell you what, that's commitment from Cruz. Go up in the air. Or sorry, from, from Henderson, Henderson that time. Yeah. Goes up in the air. Cruz stops in his tracks. Mm -hmm. Wasn't even really trying to hit him, just in the way. Henderson goes flying. That is commitment that time from Henderson. That's what you want to see when you got those high balls. The beautiful game of rugby, right? It's been checked, mate. It's already been checked, buddy. Let's go. Come. Come. As we set up the scrum and watch them yeah. give the, everyone give their opinion to Luke Rogan here. <laughs> We're going to have to go ahead and give credit to that Utah defense for their last try and talk about turning defense into attack again and just reiterate how important that is. Just kept San Diego on the back foot, made a really nice defensive play. Going back to that, have you considered that the player ran, uh, went underneath him? He knew that he was late to the contest by 14 red. Uh, it, it, from my position, mate, it looked like the player landed on it. He's telling me that he's not in a realistic position to catch the ball, so it should be a penalty against yes. the red player. Yes, I'm telling you, he went into the okay, space you, and mate. wasn't looking to catch the ball, okay. so 14 red. check it, he's not in a realistic position to catch the ball, so it's a penalty against 14 red. It's been, it's been checked, and he's had a look at it, he's not in a realistic position to catch the ball. No, 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 I had the original... Didn't they check it? Yeah. I'm so he was checking while okay. I made the decision. He's yeah. got a better angle to see. Okay. But he's not in a realistic position to catch the ball. Right. So yeah. it's going to be a penalty. Okay, no worries. So you heard Luke Rogan talking with our TMO, Nick Hannon, there. Mike, what are your thoughts and reaction to what we heard and what they've decided? Just looking at that, you could see that Judd and Osberger, numbers 9 and 14 for San Diego that time, tried to create a little nest around their oncoming Henderson as he went into the air, protect him a little bit, mm -hmm. which slowed Cruze down, forced Cruze to stop his chase. Just so happened that exactly when he stopped, he was, in a position, was not in a position to catch the ball. Henderson comes flying through, and unfortunately there, Cruze just in the wrong place and gets the penalty. So, kick it into touch to set up this. Line out San Diego, leading 23 to 12. Now in the back, Shiloh Klein, the 
advantage was on, so they yep. put the cross field kick up. There it is. San Diego comes away with it. Your side touch line trying to stay in as the Legion. You're tackled into touch. You turn the ball over, so they keep it in the field of play here. You heard Rogan. You'll have the advantage. There's the stoppage. Come back for the penalty that time. Yep. Because Utah otherwise good and secure over the ball, like Luke said. They sent an runner isolated. Utah was strong over the ball, stopped the play in its tracks. So we'll come back for the advantage. Here's the kick inside of the five, so you can execute the set piece here. You should be getting a try here, right? Now San Diego is opting to go for the corner. They had one similar, not too much further towards midfield when they went for the points last time. It was a little bit more to that sideline. Yeah. But they decide to go for the corner. They'll want to bring this one down and capitalize, like you said, and try to get that bonus point, notch that fourth try. Yep. In and up, and it's Ross that went up to get it. Power their way to the five meter. Inside of the five meter. You hear the crowd, they push, they get it in! I believe it's Pointevin that had the ball for San Diego. And he does take it in, does Christian Pointevin. Newcomer to their team coming over from LA and look at Snapdragon Stadium. You can feel the fans just willing that one in. I mean, when that ball started going, you and I started to edge closer on our seats. You can only imagine what that mall was doing, those guys in the mall. But offset mall that time didn't hit right into the point of contact. Utah was sitting down. They opted not to go up. They stayed on the ground to try to just hit right into that mall. San Diego sees that. They wheel off it really quickly, find that seam along that right-hand side of the mall, continue to go forward, and then just ultimately just power their way in over the line. Flags go north, the kick is good. And it's now 30 to 12 in favor of the San Diego Legion here. Christian Poitman just went a little bit down the coast from where he played last year with LA. Now a part of this San Diego team and a big time try there for him. And let's take a look now at the Vaquero try summary. Pifaletti got it started, Mike, and they get that bonus point you referred to due to Legion. They traded some tries earlier on, but for the most part, it has been all San Diego after those first two scores. We have one Utah try sprinkled in there from Lasique, but outside of that, San Diego has been putting on a show for their fans at Snapdragon so far. They are 10,000 plus first match in this stadium. It's home to San Diego State football, the women's soccer league team that plays there, and the Legion. Spoke too soon that time, but again, San Diego, characteristic so far from them, though. Every time almost that they've scored, they have immediately turned around and made a mistake and gave Utah an opportunity right back up against their goal line, put pressure on themselves. So, you know, that's not okay. You can't score and then turn around and just hand something back to the right. opposition. I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to play. They want to have some fun. They've got the bonus point. But in that situation, I think you just settle down Clear your lines, get the ball in Henderson's hands, let him boom it, and again, just go play defense, force Utah to turn it over. You don't want to keep giving them opportunities to climb back in it. 18 point deficit now. Utah scrum here, McLeod puts it in. Waits for it in the back and gets it. He's going to call his own number here. Trying to go inside, it's taken away. San Diego, can they outrun him? No, but a huge turn of events as Henderson takes it way inside of Utah territory. What an alert play there by Josh Henderson. What a game he's having in his debut. Oof, he's tired from that run, though. That was a big old sprint. That was a good platform finally from Utah, but again, they can't do anything with it. So they get the platform that they want. They can't get their lineouts going. They finally get a scrum going. They make a nice little break. There he goes. 
That's McLeod looking on his outside. Tulisike for the short ball. But Henderson read that one like a book. Tries to take off, doesn't quite have the gas. Gets caught by Makini from behind. And he's just catching his breath now as he galloped the field after that one. See what he's done. Ten points in the match here today. What a debut for the number ten. Taking over for the legend Joe Peterson. Yeah, he really has. We've talked a lot about in our open yeah. about how Hodgson was coming in to be the orchestrator. The maestro, if you yeah. will. The conductor yeah. Yeah. was the word I was looking for yeah, of this Utah side. You. But I'll tell you what, Henderson has been exactly that for San Diego. He really has. Impressive debut for him. Here's point of it again. He is gritty. So gritty, so tough in there. Into the middle of the park, Henderson puts it outside. Nifty ball there, coming from the back was Teo. And picked up, couple meters from the line. Legion here looking to add to already an 18 point lead. He's got the ball, play Yeah, the CK was in good body position there. Yep. Well done. Some relief there is McLeod. Just gets it out of there, but right back into the waiting hands of the back line of the Legion. 62nd minute, here they come again. And again, well done, Utah. Yep. Well done, twice, strong over top of the ball. Good call by Luke Rogan, once for a turnover, this one for a penalty. And all of a sudden, you're going from one meter up against your own goal line, and now you're going 10 seconds later into the other opposition's half. And they will spot it out right there. Line out time, got to get this right. Yep. We are going to get our hydration break. Well, the players will. We'll get one too. We'll come back with a big line out coming up here, late stages of this one from San Diego. Welcome back to Snapdragon Stadium, the home side, the San Diego Legion, up 30 points to 12 against the Utah Warriors. Special guest alongside me, Bill Gore, and Deputy Commissioner for Major League Rugby. So much to be excited for this season, isn't there? Yeah, it's an amazing season. Going to our six, uh, you couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, starting with this game here in San Diego, where I think you have some good news you want to report. It's an amazing crowd, amazing stadium, and uh, we couldn't just ask for anything more for the start of the sixth season. That's right, 11,500 here, a MR record, but there's also some new people we need to introduce as well. Yeah, absolutely. This year, we had Chicago entering into the, the competition. Uh, coming up next year, we have Alejandro McFarlane, who is going to be the owner of our Miami group coming out next year. Hey, how are you? We are really very happy being here, and uh, we can wait for next year. Oh, are you going to send the jet to come pick me up for the home games? Oh, of course, I will. <laughs> He's not going to do that. <laughs> well, beautiful. We'll get back right to the game to you guys, Ben. Thanks so much for being here. What an attendance record it is. Terrific. Number Thanks, Dallin. 11,500. First ever game in this beautiful new venue that opened in August of last year. Snapdragon Stadium, $310 million to build it in the home of the Legion. You talked about it from the outset of our show, Mike. The brand they're building in San Diego is top flight. I'll tell you what, having played there, even from the very beginning, when I was playing with New York and we went out to play San Diego, they had the cannons going, 
They had the Legion faithful in the front row. You could tell that San Diego was the place in Major League Rugby that you wanted to be, you wanted to play, you wanted to watch rugby. They're doing really, really well to build their brand in that area. And man, it is exciting for the prospect of rugby in that community. Utah, line up. Ball is set, trying to push this thing, but it's going a little bit sideways on him. Trying to get it back together and get a push here inside of the five meter. He's hitting the deck. Utah still got it. And Rogan's going to blow the whistle. Penalties called here on San Diego. Good patience that time from the Utah side. As yeah. you mentioned, they were a bit sheared in a position they likely didn't want to be in as they side shuffled across the field, but they kept their integrity. They stayed together, forced the penalty against the San Diego team, and now they get to go to a scrum, which the last time they did this and they had the scrum, they had a really good platform from it. But we saw the interception thrown from the cloud. So yeah. we'll see what they got up their sleeve here off this front. Right. Trying to dig deep here, down by 18 on the road. This is two teams met in the preseason a little over a week ago. It was a 30-point win for San Diego. They put up 42 in the second half. Utah led by five at the half. Round one here in MLR, these Western Conference rivals. McLeod puts it in. I have the advantage here. Yeah, coming apart. And knocked away. And there's the whistle after the advantage. Almost intercepted again, but yeah. you can tell what Utah is trying to do there. The line out might not be going well, but the scrum definitely is. So he gets the penalty, the advantage is on. And then a near interception there that time Same again, guy. again, again, <laughs> Anderson again, Anderson again, oh, man, he's a poacher. <laughs> wow. Think you would have been able to finish, Ben? That's a long run. That's a long <laughs> run. We already had one. You had 15 guys chasing you. And that last one gassed him pretty good. Right. At the end of that, he was huffing and right. puffing. He gets to the 50, I think, and then he gets dragged <laughs> down. What do you think? <laughs> Probably fair to say, yeah. We'll try this again here, McLeod. Put it in for Utah. McLeod gets to it. Short ball, quick movement, a little bit of room. They got something outside. Easy walk in, got down right there. Put down by Caleb Mockany. Nat is the set piece that you want for the Utah Warriors. Lineouts aren't going well. You take the scrum option from a penalty. Fantastic call. Look at Ali Khalifi, that left hand side prop in the front row for Utah. All of a sudden, ball gets slung out the back. And good finish that time. Well done by the backs. I talked about that I like strikes off lineouts because of that 10 meter run up. But I'll tell you what, in scrums, when all those forwards are just sucked into that black hole of the scrum and it's backs on backs, it's really fun to watch. And that time, Utah getting the upper hand against the San Diego defense. So here's Joel Hodgson trying to tack on this critical conversion attempt here to make it an 11-point game. Giving it to him, Hodgson didn't get it. Yeah, a lot of kicks have been off the mark tonight. So it's a 13 point deficit now for Utah, Mike. But how about this? Look at that shovel pass from Hodgson out the back. And oh. what a catch. Down by his toes that time for the Utah Warriors. That's number 23, Cliven Lopser. Yeah. I mean, just, whoa. He's so got like, grass in his fingertips, yeah, right? Seriously, he's just picking grass out of, grass clippings out of his nails from that one. But well done by Hodgson under pressure to just shift that one along. Yep. And then a great scoop and finish by the Utah Warriors back line. Well, this one's shaping up for a great finish here. 69th minute, 13-point deficit. Utah gets the ball right back. Trying to march down the pitch once again. Penalty call there against San Diego. Everything going wrong right now for San Diego. Right. Just penalty after penalty. 
giving Utah so many opportunities to claw their way back into the game. Can't score four tries and fall asleep, especially now with 11,500 people at their first game. You got to keep turning the dial up every single time in San Diego right now, getting into a bit of a low. They got to wake up, disrupt this line out, stop this momentum that Utah has. The kick there from the man, the coach, Greg Cooper, calls the conductor, Hodgson. Set them up for the line out. Gato in, gathered in by the Warriors. Logan right there, talking to McLeod. McLeod spinning it to the back there. Hodgson, inside ball, bobbled, knocked around a couple of times. Heavy pass at the line that time by Hodgson to an oncoming Lasique coming hard, but just needed a bit less less heat on that one. Again, you're throwing somebody into the cold face. You need to give them a soft pass. They have some soft hands because they're going straight into contact. That time it came out a bit too quick. Just pounced off the chest of Lasique. So a knock on advantage penalty. Sorry, Mike. Chris Bowman has checked in for San Diego. Joe Bucky is checked in for Utah. He wears 16. Bowman wears 18. Scrum here for the Legion into the 71st minute. Mike Teo in open space here against Mika Cruze. That would be fun to watch on the near side of your screen. But yeah. San Diego go left. Go the other way with it. Here they come with some speed. Little hop step there. From Brocky. Now the Legion looking to go to work. Donnie spins it to the back. Teo shoves off. Then he's taken down there by going. Donnie played it. Nice movement of the ball here. Nate Osberger already got a try here tonight. Came back in the first half. They're inside of the 22 now, or the Legion. Trying to get another try here, and potentially get this one put away. That was some good hands to the outsides, right? Good flick along passes, had these Snapdragon fans on their feet. Me as well, as I went to the edge and I saw Augsburger <laughs> in space again, and I thought, that's a man that can tightrope down that sideline. Let's see what he could do. Yeah. But they're going to go for points and just milk time off this clock, I think, right now. They've already got the bonus point. Get another three on the board and just let that clock continue to just tick down. But look at this. Will Hooley to the outside, quick hands. Blair Cowan to the outside. That's two internationals, one after the other. And a third on the receiving end was Augsburger. That's just class right there from San Diego to get that ball into space. Back on. Thank you. So we'll be lining up to take this yep. kick right now. Oh, yeah. USA International. It's his first game back in about eight months. Just had some shoulder surgery recently. You know, we talked to him before the game, and he said it's been a long haul back into it, but he's so excited to get back on the field, come off the bench, make an impact, and he has a chance here to put his team up by another three. 15 caps in his USA career. Great boot from Hooley. Good look at it there, and that is right down the middle. 33-17 now here in the 74th minute. The score in favor of San Diego. Of course, they'll get it right back here. As Mike mentioned there, they wanted to just take some time off. They'll look to do a little bit more of here is 
Teo pops that one up. Handled here now by Zion going on the back. Hodgson pops one over the top, but yeah. Good whistle call. called, penalty call here on San Diego. Good call by Luke Rogan that time. Hodgson just flicked that ball over the line. Caught in traffic, knocked down, obstructed on his chase. Not good enough. Luke Rogan not impressed. Penalty for Utah. So Hodgson into touch where the Warriors will get another opportunity here out of the set piece with a line out coming up. Let's get down to Dallin. Dallin, what do you have for us? Yeah, special moment. Uh, number 23 coming on, Ryan Mattis for San Diego Legion. Earns his 50th cap in MLR. He's a player that's been with him from the beginning. An eagle in the 7s and 15s game. His wife, Jordan, also a legend on the field as well. What a great occasion for Ryan. And just a shout out also to the young kids that are out here watching the San Diego Legion have done wonders with their rookie rugby program, introducing the game to the next level of kids. Awesome stuff. You know Ryan well, Ryan Mattias. I know him a little bit. I know Dallin knows him very well and a big part of the culture of rugby in our country. Utah stopped in their tracks here. Trying to make quick work here. Trying to get into the try zone, but how about the effort there from Richard Judd? Diving over the top to make the tackle. But it's going to be a penalty call on San Diego. It was a well-timed jump tackle right? from Judd that time. Looked like some sort of, some sort of superhero flying across <laughs> that rug, just fully airborne. But unfortunately, finds himself just stuck in a tough position. That's where the line-out will come there, where the AR is. Here's a look back, Mike. And so here it is. This is the phase right before that in the setup. So good contact made from San Diego in the collision. You can see him here. There he comes on your screen. Jumps and leaps across. <laughs> fully airborne off his feet. Good tackle. Well timed. Can't fault him for that. But then just falls on the wrong side and gets stuck. Can't get out of there. So a penalty for the Warriors. And they go to work here. In the ball from that lineup. Get some push in the back. Trying to hammer this one in. Unfurling the body, spun free. Good tackle on Whiting there. Whiting, though, allows him to keep moving. Good chance inside, but they throw it away. Double knock on. On the down by the Quick ball for Utah. Almost opened it up for him that time, and that would have been big because. That would have been their fourth try of the game. And for Utah, you know, even if you're looking at a loss, a bonus point makes a big difference in the table standings. Yeah. Good short ball that time. Offload doesn't go. The timing was just off on the support line that time for the Utah Warriors from number 11, Mano. But they get another shot at it now. And again, you see what quick ball can do when you recycle it really quickly. The defense doesn't have time to react and organize. It can be really, really exciting to watch. Utah's last couple scrums have been a really good platform for them. If they can set that here in these last three minutes of the game, get a good, a good stable platform to launch and put a try down, walk out of San Diego with one table point, yeah. that'd be big for the Warriors. 78th minute here, 33-17, San Diego with the lead. Going sideways in a hurry was that scrum, and San Diego is going to get it back. The penalty called on Utah for the violation there. Well, we got a chance here. Let's have a look at the loose heads player of the match candidates. Mike? Look, we've said his name this entire broadcast. You can't put anyone up here without talking about Henderson. He's been instrumental in how this team has played and so exciting to watch. But speaking of exciting, Malalo, every time he's touched the ball, yep. he has just plowed through some Warriors yes. defensive players. And so he's had a big game as well. So we'll reveal that a little bit later here in the broadcast into the 79th minute. Legion in no hurry at all. Start this thing out 1-0. and oh. They finished 8-8 eight eight a season ago. Fifth in the Western Conference. They did make the playoffs in the end. First two years of MLR came up short. 
championships first two years won by Seattle. Seattle back in it last year. Coming up short. Of course, to New York, winning the whole thing. Legion on their way. Starting out 1-0, Poitavin, who came in in the second half and gave them some good minutes, scored a try. 21 out there for San Diego and Black. Use it now! by the scrum half, that's Judd, who gave it off, and now a little bit of sloppy play, and the whistle comes, and Judd back behind the play, slow to get up. Good individual effort that time from Judd, though. Good heads up rugby, you know, you're going side to side, decides to put the box kick up, drops to the ground, good chase on his own kick, pops into his hands, but play got a little bit too loose there as we enter the final minute of this game. A couple of San Diego players down, there's Judd, I believe. Rocky was also down, but to see Judd get up there. Pretty good debut for him here today as well. Utah going up in the air strong that time to try to catch it. That was Lobser going airborne, but mistimed it. Bounces into the hands of Judd. Judd tried to offload to Brocky, but it wasn't to be for one last try in that moment for the Legion. So San Diego. All they got to do is roll this in, get it. Kick it out. The match will be over. That's what they're talking about now at the back there. They're saying, what do you want to do, fellas? You want to, you want to have a run? You want to have some fun here? You got a big crowd, or you just want to put this out and <laughs> call it a day? I don't know, Ben. What are you thinking? You want to go for it during that little huddle right there? Are we going for it? What are we doing? I mean, that's... Let's do I'd it. Make a run let's at do it. it. Make a run at it. Let's do it. Why not? Tell Dallin we're going for it. Let's get, it. let's get him on. We're going for it. Judd puts it in, and they are going for it. Why not? 22 with it are the Legion. To Rory, the carry there. Judd gets it free, kicked through there by Hooley. Into the hands of the Warriors, it's Mano. Now they're in trouble inside of their own five meter is Utah. Nice little move there. Utah outside of their own 22 now. Big power ahead, another 10, maybe 15 meters here. My goodness. Good push there. Yeah, that'll do it. That's not coming out of there. There you go. So the San Diego Legion in front of a record 11,500 in their first game inside of Snapdragon Stadium. Look at this place. Amazing. Take a bow, San Diego. Everyone in their front office, everyone in their marketing team, everyone that's been pushing hard for this home opener. The team in the community, you see them out there. Ryan Mattias was one of them. They're out there yeah. all the time, tirelessly promoting the game, promoting their brand. That's what we need. Really well done by this San Diego Legion organization. No, no question about it. Well said. Time for our Arctic moment of the match. You saw number 21, Christian Poitavin, Mike, and this gave them the bonus point on this powerhouse try they pushed in. It probably wasn't the most exciting of all the tries that we've seen the Legion score this afternoon, but this is the one that ticked over that bonus point for them. They, this was their fourth try of the game. They offset that mall. They just slowly but surely stay organized and just inch their way forward. Poitavin makes his impact off the bench, sees the little seam, 
runs himself into Hodgson, who was not going to stop him, and that sealed the deal with the bonus point for the Legion. Here's Ryan Mattias. Talked about him, and a big night in San Diego. The Legion come away, 33-17 winners over Utah. More to come after this.